My name is Roxanne Weathers, and guess what? I love art. I've been into art all my life, but I've been doing it professionally for around 10 years. My goal? Just like every other artist, try to be the best at it. And after all this hard work, I think I deserve more. When I finish my next painting, I will finally get the long-awaited recognition I deserve as I will rise to the top. I don't just think I will. I know. So hey, what are you up to? No! Don't look! No one's allowed to see my masterpiece until it's ready. I'm just putting the final touches on this. Oh, this must be a classic, huh? You should know, your sister's pretty darn good by now. I mean, I was ranked number three last year, even though I deserve to be number one. So this is what's gonna get your number one this year? Uh, yeah. Well, good luck, I guess. Okay. Can I help you? Good afternoon, Miss Weathers. I'm Detective Tom Bowerman. This is my partner, Detective John McAllen. Can we have a quick word with you, please? Uh, what's this about? It's about your safety. We have reason to believe that you might be in danger. Can we come in? Yeah, sure. Have a seat. Can we offer you a drink, gentlemen? Just water, thank you. Ms. Wells, I don't know if you're aware of the recent events concerning some of the artists in the area. No, what kind of events? Well, we're about to tell you might scare you, but it's better if you know. Thank you. So, we have a thief on the loose. Now this thief goes after paintings of big time artists such as yourself. How long has this been going on? About three weeks, but that's not the worst of it. This thief is not the kind of likes to leave witnesses. Uh, are you serious? Okay, wait, wait. How many people has this psychopath killed? Sorry about that. So, we currently have five victims, but we are positive there will be more. Do you have any leads or clues on this case? Well, it seems that the victims are always caught off guard. We also know that this maniac is very precise and always works alone. How are the victims killed? Really? That's what you're concerned about? I'm just trying to figure out the situation. Well, let's just say he doesn't have one method of killing. That's quite crispy. We just wanted to inform you of the situation. We'll be patrolling the area from now on. Please, if you see anything suspicious, give us a call right away. What did you say? When was I ever in trouble? What, why were the cops here then? It's none of your business is why the oh. cops were here! Hey, easy, easy, Christy, come on, come with me, we need to talk. Look, babe, I'm really tired of you two fighting all the time. Seriously. <laughs> babe, I just saw two cops in your house. So I assumed Miss Goody Two Shoes was in trouble. Exactly, you assumed. You didn't know, though. Uh, are you taking her side? Well, I'm sorry for asking that. I'm just saying you two should find some common ground and stop arguing all the time. But you don't think I'm trying? But she's always so aggressive towards me for no apparent reason. So I really don't think that's possible. Okay. Okay, look. Look, babe. I just want you to know that I am willing to work this out. But you should know that it doesn't just depend on me. It also depends on your sister. All right, look. I'll try and talk to her again and see what I can do. Uh, hey, Mom. Uh, I just got to Pete's house a while ago. Why? What? That's tonight? I totally forgot. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Uh, give me ten minutes. I'll be there. Honey, I'm sorry. It's just my mom organized this family get together with some relatives that came from London today, and they totally forgot. So I got to go. Okay, I guess I'll just catch the game with the guys in a bit then. <laughs> okay, babe. I'll tell you later. And don't worry. I'll talk to my sister. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. So, Tom, can I call you Tom? Yeah, sure, John. Can I call you John? <laughs> you know, I'm really impressed with what you've done. I haven't heard nothing but the best from everyone in the department. Eh, it was nothing, too. Pretty sure when it's all said and done, you'll have accomplished the same. Probably more. Pretty tough having to start work and having to deal with this artist case straight away. So, when do you think this lunatic is going to strike again? To be honest, I don't know what to expect. But I'll tell you this. Whatever it is, they're pretty damn good. What about Roxanne Weathers? Do you think she'll be next? Well, she is one of the best. Hmm. She does have some pretty good quality paintings, and it doesn't seem her house is too secure. Should we call in units for patrol? Yeah, I already did that while you were getting coffee. Should we call it a night then? You got it. Hey, Roxy, listen. You and Christy need to get on the same page because this thing is getting ridiculous. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, it's not my fault that she's jealous of me and trying to turn you against your own sister. But I'm not taking anyone's side. We need to talk and resolve this issue once and for all. Anyway, I got to go now. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Oh, and by the way, Christy's out too, so if you need anything, give me a call. Alright, I guess I'll just stay in and welcome my family. I'll talk to you later. Damn it, where are those brushes? Weathers, I'm such a big fan of yours. I've been living here for five years. All I want is a damn picture. I really don't have time for this, but uh, fine. Yes. One more, one more. Please. I have no time for this.
Detective John McCallan. This is Roxanne Weathers. There's somebody in my house. Please come quickly. Ma'am, calm down and find a safe place to hide. I'm on my way now. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I think it's your partner. Did you just call? I just heard his ring tone. What are you talking about? Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Okay, I need you to stay put, don't make any sounds, and I'm almost there, okay? Okay. I got it six feet. I can't believe it. I got into it for this? 